Talk to you, but it's not the same. Yes, guys, it's a I'm here to do another video, and this week we'll be talking about my top 10 regular list. Let's get on with it. Oliver. Number one, Gregory Isaac's Night Nurse 1982. I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. Only you alone can quench this Some persons have to say that uh, this song is referring to some sort of addiction. But let's take the addiction out of it. This is a simply beautiful song, and if you just think about you're a woman or your partner being your night nurse, someone taking care of you, going through problems, some some there's some pain, something's hurting, she's taking care of you, she's a winner. Emergency. Hey Muff Gregory. <laughs> Anyways, let's get on to number two. Have you ever heard such final lyrics stuck on you? So basically this song is by Eddie Lovelet and it's from 1985 and this guy he is he's amazing. Going on the midnight train tomorrow because I know you're waiting for me. That's where I'm going. Where you are, baby? That's, that's nice. That's nice. So he said he's going to pack up his troubles and he's going to go on his way. He's going to be on his way. A song like this, you can't write it because you're passionate or you're talented. You need to experience this type of loving. Number three, Just Don't Want to Be Lonely by Freddie McGregor, 1987. Now, originally, this was done by an American singer or group called Made Ingredients in 1972. If you want to hear the original version, you can go and check it out. I'll leave it down in the description box. But this is the version I know, and it's wicked. So basically, why I love this song so much, it's saying that, hey, I don't want to be lonely. You know, some personal days are quite clingy, right? Every time they want to be where you are, they want to be there, there, there. But this guy is saying, he's saying, hey, I know something you have things to do. You know, go, go with your friends, go do stuff, go party, go what you want to do. At the end of the day, just don't leave me lonely. And you know that all these singers are rasters? I like, well, I'm not a raster, but I'm just saying, you know what? Number four, Garnet Seal, Place in Your Heart, 1992. Ooh la la. Ah, that's my brother's birthday, yo. Birth year, yeah. It's like a brand new toy. To joy. Love is a wonderful thing, that's what he's saying. Your place in your heart. That's where it starts. I'm placing your heart. So, what this guy's saying is that um, everything, love, it starts here. You must reserve a place in your heart. Yeah, <laughs> in your heart in order to receive love. And then when you receive that place, that's, that's where it starts. You can give love equally. Number five. Yeah. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Number five. This one is by Sanchez, and the year it comes out, I won't tell you because that year is my birth year. So if y'all know me well, this is my birth song. Talk to you, but it's not the same. And it's touching you. Ooh, yeah. And every time you whisper my name, I want to run with you. Yo, I don't care who you are, I don't care if you speak English or not, I don't care if you don't understand Patwa, you can't hear reggae and not move. I don't care if you can't dance, you can't hear reggae. This music, these types of songs and just 
don't move. So this song is saying, I'm missing you, basically. It could apply to a long distance relationship. And it's saying, hey, talking to you on the phone, it's not the same. It's not the same as touching you, kissing you, holding you, writing letters, sending emails, it's not the same, and wow. Number five, Wanna Be Loved, Bougie Banton, 1995. Ooh, hey, look there, wow, look there, wait, look there. Be loved, not for who you think I am. To be good loving for me, good love. No strings attached, give you my heart. So basically, I want to be loved, not for who you think I am or who you want me to be, but for who I am. And this is often many persons cry. When you're looking for love, looking for a partner, we try to change ourselves so many times, and other people try to change us too. And so what he's saying here is that, hey, I want to be loved for me. So love me for where I am, you know, so this is a beautiful song. Bujin, this song has a lot of concepts to part of your life. And one of them is this old concept where pros are like, oh, men hide their feelings and stuff. But then when some men show their feelings, it's not always well received. And so here he's saying that, hey, don't do that. All right, so that's basically that I truly agree with him. And then there's another line which I like, which um, simply says every whole of him stick a bush or something of the sort. And the idea is that whoever you are, whatever you look like, if you're fat, if you're slim, if you're skinny, if you're um, anemic, whatever you are, whatever definition of beauty you give yourself, there's someone for you. <laughs> Sorry, so whoever you are, you have someone there, you know, like every monkey has his monkey, or every monkey has their monkey. Yeah, so. In the number seven slot, we have Tony Rebel, Fresh Vegetable, and this came out one year after my sister was born, which is 1998. So, let's check it out. Love like a fresh vegetable. So tell me if you love Roman. <laughs> love you like a fresh vegetable. So tell me if you love it. <laughs> you ever heard that? Because yeah, Juliet and Mia Romeo, wow, that this guy is he knows his Shakespeare. So basically, why I love this song? <laughs> it compares a woman to vegetable. And you know vegetables are good for you. So this is great literary work, great literary intelligence here. So ladies, if a guy says he loves you like food, that's good because we often say that the way to a guy's heart is through his belly. So if he loves you like food, that's good. That's good. And in the number 8 spot, we have Baby Can I Hold You. Originally, this is by Tracy Chapman in 1988, but I didn't put it earlier because the version I know is by Foxy Brown in 1998. So, let's play that version. Sorry, is all that you can say. So you know that um, a lot of times while we're in relationships and we do something wrong, and you say, oh, sorry. And you think that sorry changed it? No, sometimes sorry is not enough. That's why she's saying, hey, sorry is all you can say? Seriously? Sorry is all you can say. So don't say, I'll do better next time. Just do better. Don't say it. So go back to the dip. So if you can't dance, here's the dip. You like you do this, you dip. I really need someone to film for me, you realize? So the words don't come easily. Right? I forgive me. Yeah. Look there. Alright, good. So, another interpretation of the song holistically is that it's sort of reflective of how hard it is for some persons to say their true feelings, which is why can I hold it tonight if I say the right words at the right time? It's just my interpretation, to be honest. In the number nine spot, we have Black Dot Roses by Barrington Levy. Now, this is a beautiful song, and if you guys don't know it, just let me touch it here for you, and it's 1998 as well. Black, black roses in my garden. All right, so let's stop there. So basically, a black rose. A black rose usually would signify death, hatred, something negative. But to show you how skillful this guy is, a black rose saw something rare. Perhaps you'd never find one. And so what he's alluding to is that 
hey, I have black, black rose, I have something rare. So it's like when you, have, when you have your partner, for example, this is rare. Someone who is special. So when you have someone treat that person like there is no other. Like, so you have to water it, you need to take care of what you have. Your partner's can love it from time to time. What you have is so special and it's just for you. Just remember that. And so without further ado guys, we are at number 10. You all think I could have a top 10 regular list and not have this guy here. But remember, this is just a regular list relating to love. And this is what greater love you have than this. One love. I know that. Get together and feel alright. Ooh! Why this song, obviously for me, tops the list is that it's speaking about like love in general, a whole lot of love for peace, love for peace. No, it's a greater love than the one you share with your partner. Like, oh, it's just you and me. We love each other. Let's think about you and I only. No, this love is a love for peace that every people, every man, every nation, we come together and we love. Not about the color of your skin, your religion, your race, your political opinion, what you believe or don't believe. We could all come together and exercise one love. So, anyways, guys. What's your favorite or number one uh, reggae song? And did you like my playlist? And more importantly, did you like this video? If you did, don't forget to give a big thumbs up. <laughs> Just to be a model. <laughs> big thumbs up. And if you've not already subscribed to my channel, hit that subscription button. And please tap the notification bell so that you may all be notified when I make an upload. And without further ado, if you guys like this list, I'm thinking in the future to maybe do. Um, a top 10 2000 list one that's beyond 2000 of reggae artists and so forth and i was thinking they were french list too i like french singers and maybe a spanish list because i like some spanish songs too but anyways <laughs> i'll maybe do a poll or something and have you guys decide so that's it guys thank you so much for watching my video this week it's a bit long but i'll see you next week ciao ciao